got a pair of Wesco boots here. Don't think we've ever done a video over Wescos. We're gonna get a lot of them in here. Go and cruise through our, our videos and let us know, did we ever do a video over Wescos? Plus it'll also help our channel. Just go watch all our videos. That's also the thing about these West Coast boots. They are solid as a rock. Lots of nails, lots of leather, lots of stitches. Love the smell of glue thinner in the morning. All right, so here's the basic construction of a Wesco boot. It's very similar to what you're gonna see in a lot of those kind of Pacific Northwest style. It's a stitch down where they cut uh, the upper right at the joints and just the fore part of the boot is flipped out uh, for the stitches with two rows of stitches. Traditionally, they have two rows of stitches. Um, and then it's just gonna be tacked or nailed, not tacked, like hardcore nails through here into a solid piece of sole leather or insole leather. We're going a bit out of order this morning. Uh, I wanna get the uppers on these cleaned because we're about to put in new stitches on top of this leather here and there's dust and dirt all in it and I don't wanna get the, the new stitches dirty. So let's get these all nice and cleaned up and then we'll be ready to resole these babies. going to add a little saddle soap to these all nice and sudsy things are dirty. I'm gonna have to do this a couple more times to really make sure we get nice and clean. All right, so we've got these clean. They've also gotten a little bit wet. And when we pulled them off, this was a little loose. And since these are a stitch down and I don't have the original last, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue, not a whole lot, just to hold these in place. And that way I don't lose the shape around the toe.
All right, so we're gonna go a little bit different on the kind of the side profile appearance on these. We're gonna go more natural. As you can see, these, these boots were dirty. That's the new insole and I just touched to the bottom of the shoe. So uh, to protect it, we're gonna put a little bit of clear sealant on these. And that'll keep it. This will keep it looking natural when it dries, but also will protect it from getting filthy. All right, got the solo. We're gonna get a good press. And the stash is back. Let me know what you think in the comments below. So this boot originally had stacked blocks. They were in pretty rough shape. So we're gonna build some new ones. All right, so as you can see, looking down this, there's a giant bump right here. And if I put another flat one on top, it rocks back and forth. So we have to get rid of this bump. And so we sand it down until it's flat with this area over here, and then they can start to be built up.
Okay, we're just about done. This gentleman that wrote us the letter gave us the option. He said we could either go black or whatever color we wanted to on the heel blocks as long as well as the edge. I think we're going to go natural. I just think it'll look really cool, the two-tone, so that's the route we're going. This pair of boots is complete. Hey guys, as always, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. I can't tell you enough how much this really does help the video and help our channel to grow. So again, hit the thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, all that good stuff. And also don't forget, check out potterandsons.com if you wanna mail your shoes into us. It is almost boot season, fall season, and we are starting to get inundated with footwear. So get to the head of the line. All right. Ooh. This pair of boots was a stitch down. Don't get excited stitch down people because we do not normally work on these. It's hard. We, it really is. It's not easy. And sometimes we go outside our comfort zone just to give you a video. Yeah. So don't start sending us all your <laughs> stitch downs. All right. He did give us a little bit of artistic ability to do what we want on these. Mm -hmm. And uh, the freedom just kind of took us to doing red stitches on the top as well as on the bottom. Mm -hmm. We went from just a full lug sole on the bottom to a commando sole where the lugs are just under the ball of the foot. And then you can actually stitch all the way around it. I love these soles. Yeah. And we don't we don't use a lot of these. We no. probably should. But from there we did a not as an exaggerated logger hill. Wasn't really really curved, yeah. but, but a little, little more curved than the original. A little bit more curved. Yeah. And then just put a vibram lug hill on there. Other than that, yeah, not a whole lot. Pretty simple. We had to do some hand stitching on there because yeah. it's a stitch down, <laughs> and we don't have a lot of room to get two layers of stitches in there. So yeah. that's about it. So guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, till next time, y'all have a good one.